Just, just take your time. If when he runs, let him run. We got color in. Oh, nice kick, Brett. That's just kick. Oh, it just popped, it just popped out of his mouth. I got it all on there. Perfect. Yeah. All about the net, man. That's right. What I'm talking about. Yeah. Yeah. How'd that one feel? Good fish. Man, it's calling me shots, Greg. I'll get the next one. I mean, looking at that thing, y'all both, you and David, said, all right, here we go. I mean, it's, it's almost like playing a video game. I mean, you're, like, you're we're right watching the electronics, <laughs> and you see a couple of little arcs, and we're able to see about the depth that our bait's hanging out, and you see a couple of little arcs. I mean, it's been just like that three times in a row. As soon as we see those arcs in the right depth zone, they're on it just like that. There he is. Pick the double. Let's look at there, man. All right, Wes. Okay. Here you go, Wes. Speak of the devil. <laughs> All right, you fish will have another fish on at 32. Oh, don't, don't let the rod go down real fast. Uh -huh. Reel on as you go down. All right. Oh, what? Oh, oh it's broke! Oh. Dang. Hook popped out? Yep. Oh, he broke. No, hook. No. It broke. It broke. broke the hook. Gosh, that was a good fish. Wow. It was a good one. That was a real good fish. That's the last time you get the real one tonight. Who <laughs> <laughs> tied that hook on? <laughs> Wes, Wes has got to take a leave of absence now. <laughs> hey, that was a solid fish. Yeah, it was. Good one. And that's Real. when I said there's fish at 32. <laughs> <laughs> Isn't it because we had... Yeah, because yeah, we had just got... Man, there's a monster at 60. <laughs> I'm serious. <laughs> you see him? Drop it down to 60. That's a deep dog. That's <laughs> a deep dog. That's a deep dog. That's a deep I'll tell you, we watched one come up from about 45 feet of water. One of the fish that we caught came up from 45 feet. That's our I'll bait line. I'll just tie that one if y'all get this one back out. All right. All right what, what depth you want? Uh, Greg, what do you have that rod back there? That was there? at uh, 33. Yeah. Hey, Wes, if you had him coming to him, I was going to give you one. Yeah, he just popped up. Mr. Mr. White Collar over going to net him over here. Right through the top of the nose, a little hard, hard spot right there on top of his nose. So get right through the top where he can swim really good, but it won't come off. What that? 33. 33. Check it, Check it out. That bottom fin on that fish. Watch. Oh yeah, that'll be hurting tomorrow. Split it wide open. Sad. That's what a fin on one of those stripes will do to you. Split you wide. Uh, I just want to know if you saw those cat-like reflexes. <laughs> I mean, right in the right in the middle of. I mean, right, all this right in the middle of talking about what was going on. If I hadn't had those cat-like reflexes, <laughs> we might not even have a shot at that fish. You may not even have. I mean, you know. You I mean, not everybody can trip over the rod and still recover and hook the fish. The best thing that is if you would have gone off into the water. <laughs> <laughs> Wes had him, man. I was going, was going to make my second good net job of the night. If he had just swung him this way, it wouldn't have mattered if the hook would have broke. <laughs> I had him. He was in. Tell you what. We got to let a few go. Yeah, I, I mean, you know, come on. Catch and we'll catch, we'll get hey, the we do practice catch and release on sports splits outdoors. A lot <laughs> sure. of catch and we release. We catch them and we release them into the ice chest there. <laughs> More of sports splits outdoors right after this.